Hey, good morning, guys. I got a quick story here for you today. Um, if you guys are aware of that story I covered last year and been covering now for quite some time regarding that blast in L.A., uh, it, which took place, I believe it was uh, early July of 2021 or late June of 2021. It was right before the 4th of July season. And as you guys know, uh, there were a lot of people displaced. Well, the gentleman uh, that was arrested, his name is... Uh, Arturo uh, Seja, he played a, uh, played a guilty last year. And so I think a lot of us thought he would probably get more time, but he's only getting five months. And personally, I don't think that's uh, too bad. Uh, but uh, this is pretty much going to kind of conclude the story. He's got, he's getting five months in jail for uh, transporting fireworks that led to the botched LAPD detonation. Now, obviously he had no responsibility in their foolishness, uh, detonating, uh, explosives on a city street uh, but you guys know a lot of the people uh, who were living there actually all of them haven't been able to return home in fact some people are now suing the city of LA for damages of up to one million dollars because they can't go home I think there was a lawsuit filed a couple of weeks ago and so uh, the man who stockpiled illegal fireworks in his South LA backyard leading to a massive explosion that injured 17 people and displaced families due to a botched LAPD detonation was sentenced Wednesday to five months in federal prison. So I know I'm not sure if he had a public defender or if he had uh, an attorney. Um, I'm sure this botched detonation kind of uh, probably played into part of uh, his sentencing for him not getting more time because obviously it wasn't his fault, you know, for doing any of that. But he pled guilty last year to LA federal court transporting explosives without a license. So that's pretty much all he got. Uh, arrested for. He was also ordered to serve two years under supervised release after he gets out of jail. Uh, Seja planned, uh, planned to sell the fireworks through the neighborhood in celebration. This is what they are reporting. Uh, he made several trips to Nevada. You guys all know the story, uh, including aerial displays and large homemade uh, fireworks. So, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people still haven't been able to return home. There are some lawsuits and whatnot. But um, I just thought I would keep you guys abreast of this story. It popped up on my timeline today. And so even for those of you who are out of state, you probably don't get local uh, L.A. news. And so I just thought I would share it here with you guys today. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are below. Uh, again, five months for pretty much just transporting fireworks. So uh, that's what his uh, sentencing is going to be. And uh, let's see, 17 residents and first responders were sent to the hospitals and several homes and businesses. This was all due to uh, the LAPD or the bomb squad detonating these fireworks on that city street. And again, unfortunately, none of these people have been able to return home. So they have now spent uh, two Christmases and two Thanksgivings away from their house. It's just sad. And um, they don't know what they're going to do with these people. I think some of these people are still staying in hotels. They're being assi ass uh, assisted by the Red Cross but um, hopefully these individuals who were victims of this uh, explosion will get a uh, positive resolution here in the near future. But uh, with all that being said, like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. This is Keel Boom Dyke, and I'll catch you later. Peace out and have a great uh, morning. Bye-bye.